Two weeks after her party's historic election result, Sinn Féin's vice president arrived at Butte House, having requested a meeting with the First Minister. The main unionist party in Northern Ireland, the DUP, has blocked the formation of a power-sharing administration. It wants changes to part of the Brexit deal it says has created trade barriers with Great Britain. We're living through a cost of living crisis. People are struggling to put food on their table and to heat their homes. And I'm angry on behalf of the people that elected us because they want us to be in government. And Boris Johnson, instead of pandering to the DUP, should actually be encouraging them to fulfil their responsibilities. They've been given a mandate like the rest of us, join the rest of us in government. And all the while we can do that. And alongside that, we can find ways to smooth the implementation of the protocol. The Northern Ireland Protocol is a trading arrangement designed to prevent a hard border in the island of Ireland. However, it has in effect created one in the Irish Sea. The UK government has said it wants to scrap parts of the protocol to break the deadlock. The big concern I have is that unilateral action on the part of the UK would trigger potentially some trade war with the EU and, and that would be catastrophic for all of us at a time when people are already suffering the impacts of the cost of living crisis. The Prime Minister flew to Belfast earlier this week for talks with leaders of the five main political parties in Stormont, but with little progress. Our proposal is a relatively simple one. It's a green channel for goods going into Northern Ireland and it's a red channel for goods going from GB into the Republic of Ireland. It seems perfectly sensible and I think when they look through the detail, um, the EU, they'll realise that we're not seeking to damage the protocol, but the articles that we're using, uh, that, ex that exist in there at the moment to amend it, are the articles that we think are relevant here. While the Conservatives criticised the meeting with Ms O'Neill, the First Minister has invited the DUP and Alliance parties for talks on the same issues. Ewan Petrie, STV News.